we're going to model this problem with a right triangle in which one leg will be the distance from the revolving light to the wall of the warehouse, 50 feet, and the distance covered by the revolving light beam up on the wall of the warehouse will be X. The angle formed by the revolving light will be theta. Now we're being given d theta dt which is the rate of the revolving light with respect to time. 30 revolution per minute and one revolution is 2 pi radian. Your book choose to convert 30 rev into radians and 30 rev will be 30 times 2 pi radians. We choose to write it as 2 pi. So 30 rev will be 60 pi and one minute is 60 second. Therefore, d theta dt will be 60 pi radians divided by 60 second, which is pi radians per second. Now we want to find x and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So tangent angle theta is equal to x over 50. When we cross multiply, 50 tangent theta is equal to x. Let's take the derivative of both sides. The derivative of tangent theta is secant square theta. And using the chain rule, d theta d dt, because we're taking it with respect to time. And the derivative of x is 1 dx dt. They're asking us for the rate at which the light beam is moving along the wall. So it's uh, dx dt when the angle is 30 degrees. So we need to use our formula, the formula that we found. So dx dt for theta equal to 30 degrees will be 50 feet times secant squared 30 degrees time pi radians per second. Now we need to find the value of secant 30 and 30 is a special angle 1 2 square root of 3 so secant is hypotenuse over adjacent so it's 2 over square root of 3 2 over square root of 3 squared times pi radians per second secant is 1 over cosine I just have to multiply 50 times 2 times 2 is 4 and square root of 3 square root of 3 is 3. So the answer is 200 over 3 pi feet per second. When theta is equal to 60, we'll just use our template again, dx dt will be equal to 50 feet times secant squared 60 degrees times pi radian per second. Now, secant 60 will be 2 over 1. 60 is a special angle. 
hypotenuse 2 over adjacent, which is 1, squared times pi radiant per second. That be 50 times 4, which is 200 pi feet per second. Now for C, we, look, we need to look for dx dt for uh, theta equal to 70 degrees. Now, uh, 70 degrees is not a special angle. Therefore, we need to use a calculator. dx dt will be 50 feet times secant squared. 70 times pi radians per second, which means 50 feet times, and using a calculator, we need to make sure that uh, calculator is in a degree mode. Let me just put the calculator in degree mode. And secant is 1 over cosine. So it's going to be 1 over cosine 70 degrees, which is uh, about 2.92. We square it is 8.55 approximately. So 50 feet times 8.55 high radians per second so dx dt for theta equal to 70 degrees will be approximately let's multiply 8.55 by 50 so it's approximately 427 pi feet per second